Hi guys, welcome back to Dust Not Included. My name's Roy and today I'm at Stillwater Antique Center. It's a new place for me. I can't wait to get inside and see what they have. Well, this place is in an old warehouse building and it looks quite large. I cannot wait to get in here. The images online looked fantastic, so I'm sure it's gonna be a fantastic place. Let's get in and see what we find. Well, as soon as I entered the store, there were fantastic items everywhere. Check out this Westmoreland hand-painted basket. It's a beautiful satin blue color, and they were only asking $15. Then I noticed the crackle pictures in the window. I had to check those out. I love them. I really liked these um, egg holders as well. They were little chicks. This wall pocket was very interesting. What I liked about it was it's uh, many holders for different flowers. It did have a little hairline on it. Look at this antelope, hmm. And on the top shelf, I saw a few Kokeshi dolls. They were asking $48. She was beautiful. As well as this blue dish in the window. I just love the way the sunlight picked up on that cobalt blue. Speaking of blue, I just couldn't resist looking at this little mini blue and poly bottle. Just spectacular. And look at this kitschy cute bird bank. Ah, just so cute. Hey guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. I love to hear from you. Well, this store had a mix of boots and cases. Right now I decided to check out the cases and I was finding some interesting little Christmas as well as some smalls. Down on the bottom shelf, this piece of opalescent Jefferson glass really caught my eye. I couldn't help but checking out all these cute little dolls. They all had little paper dresses in the little bride and groom. They had even minier brides and grooms as well. While this perfume bottle was the first thing that caught my eye, I quickly noticed all of the Jim Shore pieces that was directly behind it. And then the one on top. And look at all of them in their original packaging on the floor here. Well, there sure were a lot of boots here, and I couldn't wait to check them all out. These rattan shelves are really collectible right now. Each booth was decorated in its own fashion, which is really exciting to see. Well, I had to take a look at this e-pern. This opalescent glass was really catching my eye today. They were asking $200 for this piece. Out of the corner of the, my eye, I spotted this light display over here. Look at all the uranium glass. So I did a quick scan around the booth and realized 
This booth had a lot of items I really loved. So let's get in here and take a closer look at all of them. I started with this uranium glass light display. Just gorgeous. I loved the flower frog. This piece of custard glass was pretty impressive as well. These are adorable. They are wooden poodles with little red rhinestone eyes. I had never seen them before. They had lots of art glass and paperweights. A little Mexican pottery, some dragonware. They had a little Inkle box with a lighthouse on it. Some Lepton Cupies, a piece of Fenton. This was definitely my area. These Cupies were fantastic. They were only $20 for the set of three, and they were made by Lefton. Look at all the beautiful glass. All these colors together is fantastic. They had some great milk glass and these two cute little cats. Hey, I have these. They're Franklin Mint molds that you would hang on the wall. Well, I couldn't help but notice all of the red, so I knew there had to be some Christmas, so I went over to check it out. They had some cute little Christmas smalls in there. There was just so much to see in all of the different areas. I did notice all of the pottery here. And I spotted this cute little leprechaun from a mile away. He was $14. These Fenton shoes were just beautiful as well. This one here is like a blue opalescent and it had some hand painting for $22. It had a signature on the bottom. I just thought it was beautiful. And those three colors go great together. And look, it's a little May girl over here in the corner. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Wow, there are so many booths here. Where to start? I guess this is a good place as any. I checked out this dolphin. I thought it might have been um, Blue Mountain Pottery, but it wasn't. It was just a ceramic piece. This blue compote caught my eye. It looks very similar to one I've sold uh, in the past. And I had to check out this blue satin Fenton piece. They were asking $22 for that Rose Bowl. I loved this planter. It was just great. I liked the yellow against the green. They were asking $30, which is a really fair price. I just thought it was fabulous. This poodle was fun too. It said as is, because I'm sure one of those little curly Q fur pieces was chipped somewhere. Well, if you're into salt and pepper shakers, I found the mother load. Look at the cases filled with them. I decided to get in and take a closer look. 
I'm a really big fan of the little kitschy cute animal ones. But that's just me. These cats, oh, adorable. Do you see any that you like? Well, right next to that was a Christmas case. Off camera, I checked out that blue slag piece. First, I decided to check out this Amberina Swan. It's a salt seller and they were asking $15 for it. Wow, they just had a lot of blue opaline glass here today. That vase is just stunning. On this bottom shelf here, I spotted this blue hobnail Fenton basket. They were only asking $15. This place has some really reasonable prices. Well, I definitely spotted this vase because I've sold it before. This is a Dale Tiffany vase with these pottery handles in purple and it had blue and copper flecks all throughout. It's a beautiful vase. Wow, some just beautiful Fenton pieces in here. And these little glass animals are fantastic. Little sets of three for $15. I also noticed these smalls in here, little figurines. But then I noticed, look, they had a whole collection of Artesania Arinconata. This collection of vases was impressive. Every booth was just set up so beautifully. So I went in to explore. The first one I saw this Dragonware cigarette box. It was just gorgeous. It was a really large size, which I haven't seen. They were asking $27 for it. They called it a trinket box. I was not quite sure. This little Mexican pottery bank was adorable. It was in pink. and they were asking $12 for it. Well, I found the Easter. All of these adorable little plastic toy candy containers and just so cute. I definitely spotted this case, it had some beautiful Fenton pieces like this iridescent hand-painted duck and that basket just, I mean that perfume bottle in there is gorgeous too. Just beautiful. I checked out this owl sugar and creamer set. I thought it was adorable. The little stump with the owl sitting on it. And this lamb planter would have been perfect for Easter. I spotted these Santa 
salt and pepper shakers and these little boys sledding. Just adorable. I love this type of Christmas. The salt and pepper shakers were $38. And then a whole row of head vases. Just gorgeous. And that purple slag swan. Oh, I love it. Hey guys, this store was so large, I had to split it up in two videos. Stay tuned for next week for part two. I have a live sale every Thursday at 6.30 and I rotate channels with your needs. I hope you guys can stop by.